Hello friends, today we are reading The Seed Bunny by Jennifer Selby. Why do you think we are reading a book about a bunny? Hmm. This month is April and during April, we some of us celebrate Easter. And on Easter comes the Easter Bunny. And look, what do bunnies eat? Carrots. So now we are going to start reading the story. My tooth feels funny, Sam told his mother. Mama Bunny looked at Sam's front teeth, then she smiled and said, Your tooth is loose. Why? asked Sam. Well, she said Mama Bunny, it's getting loose so it can fall out and a new tooth can grow in its place. Why? asked Sam. Right now your teeth are baby teeth, but you're getting bigger and bigger bunnies need bigger teeth. Oh, Sam said importantly. He thought for a minute. When will my tooth fall out? I don't know, said Mama Bunny, but if you wiggle and jiggle it, it will just fall out. And then you can put it under your pillow for the seed bunny. Really? For the seed bunny? Yippee! Sam jumped up and down. He thought for a minute. Mama, who is the seed bunny? He's a special rabbit who visits bunnies late at night when they have lost their baby teeth. When you're asleep, he'll take your tooth and leave carrot seeds for you to grow while your tooth grows in, said Mama Bunny. I want to stay up and give my tooth to the seed bunny, Mama. Silly bunny, if you're awake, he won't come. Now go and play. Ah, carrot sticks, thought Sam. He decided to wiggle and jiggle and shake his tooth so it would fall out by bedtime. Then he would stay awake and peek at the seed bunny. First, he rode his bike over all the bumps he could find, but his tooth didn't budge. Next, he skipped rope hard, counting all the way to 100, but his tooth was still there. Then he hung upside down until he was dizzy. That didn't work either. Finally, he climbed into his tree house and wiggled his tooth, humming a tooth loosening song to himself. That evening, a tired Sam ate his dinner, took his bath, and without saying one word, let Mama Bunny tuck him into bed. He wiggled his tooth one more time and, bop, out it came. Oh, good, thought Sam drowsily, and clutched his tooth as he drifted off to sleep. In the morning, Sam woke with a start. Where is my tooth? He wondered aloud. I have to find it so I can leave it for the seed bunny. He shook his pajamas and looked under the covers. 
then felt something under his pillow. Oh, he whispered. And this is what he found. Carrot seeds. Sam, plant your seeds about one inch deep in a patch of earth or a pot where they get good light. Water them every day. You can also cut off a carrot top and put it in a bowl of pebbles and water. When it grows green leaves and roots, you can plant it. With love, the seed bunny. <gasps> the seed bunny was here. I wish I'd seen him. Next time, I'll stay awake. Sam began to wiggle his other front tooth. The end. This was The Seed Bunny by Jennifer Selby. What did Sam plant at the end? Did you see in the pictures? He planted the carrot seeds that he got from the seed bunny. If it is nice outside, you can ask your family about planting vegetables such as carrots in a garden or in a pot. You can usually do this during springtime. Otherwise, you know what you could do right now is you could draw a picture of you planting your favorite vegetable in a garden. You could draw a picture with you using different tools that you need to dig a hole and to water it and it could be outside or it could be inside. And it could be a picture of you planting in a little pot. You can do this activity if you would like. I'll talk to you later, bye.